Hello? Hello? Hello, Matrix. Hello, Matrix. Shout out to the Matrix and all the overlords. Give me permission to think freely, speak freely for a moment, for a while, for a minute. What the hell is this guy talking about? Hello, Matrix. One more round of applause to the MC, the bartender, the manager. The parking valets, the barbacks, the cooks. The homeless outside, the homeless who stepped upward to get through the door. The homeless that we paid to uh, watch our car so that other homeless don't break in there. <laughs> right, so this is my first time here, so this is my first time doing stand up. comedy. Wait, what? What propaganda is he going to spill? I knew it. He's ultra mega. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's put down the uh, pitchforks, nunchucks, and, and butt plugs. Hear me out, hear me out. You know, I don't believe that. Uh, in comedy, I don't, I don't. I, I really do believe that it's all it's all just storytelling and that'll uh, either make us laugh or make us rewire or um, reinforce our philosophies or change them for example you know, let's go to San Quentin prison right Let's, uh, let's go go there with the Matrix right now. Boom, we're there. They've never been to prison, never been to jail. Never been caught, motherfuckers. But, um, here goes. It's a logbook. Logbook Tuesday. Logbook, it's Taco Tuesday. Good shit. Long book. Another talk of Tuesday in the books. Long book. 8 p.m. Another talk of Tuesday in the books. Time to secure the inmates and watch this Amazon Prime. Once I'm done shopping Amazon. I don't know, Amazon Prime, unless I'm done shopping on Amazon. Oh, it takes the other shit. Oh, shit. Throw up. Yeah, this is trash. This is dirt. Where were they at? Another Talk Tuesday in the books. Now it's time for me to catch up on some Amazon Prime. Once I'm done shopping on Amazon. Okay. 
which is secure up the inmates. 801 head count. Very well accounted for. All present and or accounted for. Angle 5 logbook, logbook 805 p.m. I was on a bit chill and relaxed, still, still recovering from this prison right? We just had over the weekend. New inmate 805 gave him the, his bed linen. 810. Welcome over to uh, his new penthouse with the widowed Charlie with the big chocolate factory. Charlie with the big chocolate from the factory. Single lost his husband in the war. And we'll see if the, let's see how they get along in the morning. But I need to go back to my Lord of the Rings, to my Rings of Power episode. So that's it right that's um that's the professional matter of fact this happened that happened whatever right same day same night oh man dear hepita dear baby girl dear la smiley my baby girl eight o'clock and i just got it on block Tell you what, they can't keep no, can't they can't keep your man down. I'm just here, chilling. Just 999 more days until I come home and see you, babe. 8:05 p.m. My goodness, I was just thinking about you, man. I see if there's a, a new booty in here coming in. So many new spots that are open since the riot. Pretty sure Big Charlie. Big Charlie with the chocolate from the factory. Show him the ropes. Okay, so that, you know, it's whatever. It's a spectator, neutral witness. Now let's get an up close and personal one. Dear Abby, dear diary. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I how I could finish my life sent finish my life sentence without my my bay. I lost I've never been a widow with no one in true love. Oh my goodness. Be everything. Everything planned out for the weekend. It was going to be our honeymoon. We were going to get married. We even had the, um, the guard sneak in. Uh, we even got our, our, um, we even got, yeah, the guards to sneak in. What else would he sneak in? Tennis ball, dodgeball. Drone. We even got hooked up with uh, two doses of Viagra each. We could celebrate our life happily, happily ever after. And now I'm heartbroken, a widow. 
with Viagra. Five. Dear Diary, well, it seems to me that these uh, Viagras are not going to go to waste. I mean, my, my new roommate is looking hella thick. We'll report later. Wink, wink, kiss, kiss, XO, XO, smiley face emoji out. So you see. Those are all um, three things, right? Same thing. Just, you know, storytelling. <laughs> you know? Just want to make me laugh. Anyone laugh? You know? And I think life is, I think life is that, like that. And it really is, uh, you know, you're going to fucking. You know, just observe and report. You know, observe and be curious, or you know, observe and take action. God damn it, like big chocolate, like big Charlie with the chocolate, big Charlie with the dark chocolate. No, well, nothing to think about, yo. during this lifetime. That's right, Pedro. The Pedro Pendejo. Oh, perdón. Perdón, Pedro. Instead of diamond oil, oil purple. Come on, this is the one that needs more color. But yeah, here we don't practice until we get things right. We're gonna practice until we can no longer get them wrong. Let's uh, read the intro of it. Where else? Oh, the, got the caffeine jitters. Heard it, but no visual. Nothing within biting distance. checking out um, my social media my little one that's left checking out that uh, oh, Jeffrey Dahmer is trending I heard about this dude they caught him 
were serving people lunch from his victims, yeah, from his victims. A lot of them matured. You can reflect now on the human mind, the psyche, mental illness. And I've come to the conclusion that you know, Jeffrey Dahmer would have been Mexican. He would have never been caught. What? Think about it, think about it, think about it. You know, let's think of Taco Bell, right? I think that's labeled as Mexican food. Tacos, gorditas, quesadillas. Even though there's nowhere in Mexico, not even in the prisons. That serve Mexican food that way. But Taco Bell does. And for those of you who eat me Mexican food at a restaurant, at a restaurant, okay? Some of y'all, because there's, there's this real shitty restaurant um, close by. But it's popular, dude, popular. Cops, detectives, hood rats. All of you know, Dahmer's people. LGBTQ plus minus up down left right ABA select start they're all there you know and yeah they love eating that shit but imagine if you would have had um, if Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer would have had uh, would have been Mexican you know, would have put some green salsa red salsa you know we had a and you would have this mysterious, um, what color would it be though? Pink. What dye does it, what color, guts, brains? It's hot pink, light pink. Uh, light pink salsa. It, it, it's very similar to like uh, the human brain. Wink, wink. Add a little kick to it. And I'm serving you. Serving people, you know. Hueros rancheros. You know, serving vegans to vegans. Giving you a true vegan plate. You know what? Imagine that a, a hipster, um, Mexican hipster, Jeffrey Dahm, totally untouchable. Totally untouchable. He would have wiped out uh, McDonald's, everyone, everyone. Imagine that. He would be serving. He would be serving hipsters to the hipsters. Vegans to the vegans. Because after all, you know, if these vegans are not eating meat, then they're vegan. If you want to be vegan, 100% vegan, just eat the vegan. But yeah, dude, we make um, pork rinds. We make pork rinds in here, like pork rinds, chicharron. Mm -hmm. And that's fucking, I don't know. Pig uh, stomach lining. You know, we're there. You know, which one of my ancestors said, hey, you know, I got an idea. I'm guessing this fucker probably said, my ancestor probably said, you know what? Yeah, we're out of firewood. Throw this fucking uh, stomach lining in there to feed the pot. Keep the pot hot. And dunk it in there. Let me, let me throw it uh, into the fire. Throw the missus, runs it in the pot. God damn it, I'm not sticking my hand in there. Nah, just let it be. When everything's done cooking. Oh my goodness, what's this? You know, oh my goodness. It's like 
What the, the Indians gave us, like the tikka, tikka chicken. Tikka, okay, we'll go chicha. And who, who made it? Ron. Ron? Big Ron? No, the chicha, chicharron. Let's go. Let's, yeah, let's roll with it. We got this. And, um, yeah, that's, um, you know, we made that. We, because I was there. We, we, we. And, of course, I'll, I'll claim um, a victory when I'm not there, right? But, you know, Crusades, uh, sacrificing whole teams to the sun. Yeah, that, and that's not me. Green chicharron. Yep, that is me. You know, isn't it funny that uh, you know, many people will they'll jump on the bandwagon. You know, those are my ancestors, warriors. That's my son. I'm so proud of him. That's my dog. That's my son. He's a doctor, a lawyer. That's my daughter. She's the number one YouTube streamer. Oh yeah, my daughter's the number number one chick on OnlyFans. When it comes to um, to mistakes, you know, because prison, you know, it's not filled with AI or robots. It's got humans in there, you know. Yeah, we do treat them like mushrooms, you know, we keep them in the dark and feed them shit. That's a reflection on us, you know. You know, where did we fail? Parent, as a father, as a mother, as a family, as a community, as a city, as a society. So, yeah. I'm losing my train of thought here, but you know, it's supposed to be comedy, the storytelling, but you know, we're all here now. Somehow we're talking about a Mexican Jeffrey Dahmer. Be protected by the hipsters, the Taco Federation. Damn. Gordon and Gordon Ramsay. Who knows? Oh, that would have been the shit. Imagine that. Imagine if. Uh, Mexican Jeffrey Dahmer had gone in a restaurant and said, "Hey." Gordon Ramsay, help us out, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this shit's amazing. What do you call this? Huerros Rancheros. Huerros Rancheros. Oh my goodness, this is the bomb. Teach me how to do it. Teach me how to do it. Well, I'll sh you know, come over to my restaurant, Jeffrey Dahmer would say. Well, as long as it's in a white neighborhood, we could show you. What? That don't make no sense. What? Don't worry, I'll show you when I get there. You know, so. Alright, that's it for now. Let me marinate on that. See if I can repeat that in my head and try to make another copy inside my head. <laughs>